Alright guys, pretty short sure PSA over here, so let's just go ahead and talk about some of the grinding we're going to have to do. So first off, as you all know, if you saw my video from yesterday, we have the strike events that are currently available for grind. Also, shout out to the Reddit, um, Mr. Game a lot for this specific post. Uh, it's just everything what I want to talk about was conveniently put all together in one post. I also added one more thing, but I'm going to go over that a little bit later um, at the end of the PSA. So let's talk about it. I talked about the optimal strike teams for LR Goku. Um, I talked about the LR Goku event in itself. Now I will be actually going over an in-depth team building guide if we drop the physical one. I believe I did one for the technique LR Goku, but if not, I'm going to do a revamped version of it so that way you all can know about what teams that you should run. All I'm going to say is that the first LR, stage 3 LR Goku, is a technique type, so make sure you grind out the intelligence ones. And if we end up getting the physical Goku event, stage 4, then it's going to be strength ones, but from the JP side, when Goku went physical, we also got the LR Frieza event style where any droppable character was usable, not just strike event characters. So we'll see what happens with that, and I'll do a team building guide with you guys when that comes out. And number two uh, that we want to talk about over here is from the Despair arc, the Trunks Despair arc that's currently out. Uh, 150 times Gravity Chambers, that's a two times ex um, experience multiplier is currently available. Grind stage two on Z-Hard in order to get them up. Uh, that's definitely something cool you're going to want to do. At least get, like, I don't know, 20 or 30 of them just to have on standby, standby for, like, really, really good characters. Um, let's see, says here, finish 70 Mr. Right Balm Runs. Um, yeah, okay, if you haven't finished that, I guess go ahead and finish that up. Uh, any final stage strike events that we get a Turtle and Balma Medals for the future. If you guys are lacking the Turtle and Balma Medals, go ahead and do it just to get them. Even if you only do it once. I recommend getting all the medals before you go for the cards, even though the cards apparently have 100% drop rate at this point in time. Um, but definitely go for the medals because those are a little bit harder for you to grind out um, just because of that cap. I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm just saying it's harder because it's annoying and it's tedious. Not that that is actually difficult. It's just tedious. So the fact that you can bring anyone you want into it and grind out those medals, I recommend doing it. Anyway, um, any Dokkan Defender stage that you can get stones, farmable supers, or need for the medals uh, because of half stamina, um, I guess a couple other people I spoke about. Don't forget two Kai's from the Baba Saga event. Uh, I think of oh, Baby Saga event. I was saying Baba. <laughs> and uh, the Bojack event for the Super Attack for Gohan. Now, I did a really in-depth analysis on that on my channel. Go ahead and take a look at my previous videos. You can go search on the channel um, for how to increase the Super Attack of LR Gohan. Um, I have that in a video. It also goes over the Bojack because the Bojack is grindable as well. You just need to pull him. So... I just want to go over that and let you guys know. Um, the one that I did also mention was that you can farm the rage or the trunks from this event and doken him into feed into the rage ones, but we're going to go over that in a second. Um, let's see over here. The, before it was 50%, and now apparently it's 100%. This is why I'm saying it was 100%. Um, according to everyone here, I... Um, let's see. Yeah, man, it is. Five runs, three runs, dropping two characters. So um, I'm pretty sure that everything is 100% drop rate at this point, but I, I can't guarantee that maybe someone did have a, a no, no drop. Maybe the rates are just so high that everyone's getting extremely lucky. I don't know. Um, we also did hit the milestone over here, and we collected over 1 million energy at this point in time. And the next one is 250,000. So guys, we're almost there, and we're going to get all those agility orbs. So stay hyped for that. I don't really, I'm not definitely, I'm definitely not using it on the agility spirit bomb Goku. We should be able to reach that. And what's cool about it is we finally do get to be able to doken him. Apparently, I didn't ever find that this is a thing. So, um... Let's see, he is actually sort of super attack. He now causes supreme damage uh, allies plus 20% for one turn. Um, attack and defense plus 10% up, so he becomes, assuming that's a nuker passive. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's actually translate to English. Yeah, which is an attack for each blow you acquire 10% up. Um, I'm assuming it's attack. Yeah, okay. Um, and then some decent link skills. Okay, so yeah, don't waste your uh, energy orbs on him. Your energy orbs, your potential orbs on him. It's not really that worth it. Save him for something else. Um, save him for an agility character. If you have a Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, use it on him. Um, or someone else like Super Vegito. Any, anything that is not the Spirit Bomb Goku because he doesn't warrant them. Um, at least that's my opinion on the matter. Unless you have no other good characters, but even then, maybe just give him a couple of crits. Uh, okay, yeah, I did also want to talk about the JP side. Apparently, every day for the different attribute type, you can do a summon on one of the banners and get a whole bunch of potential orbs. I'm pretty sure it's like 2,000, like 500, 200 or something, or 300, something like that. Essentially, you should technically have enough to max out one character of each attribute type if you summon on the banner. So, like me personally, I'm waiting until tomorrow, because tomorrow should be the intelligence one, and if you haven't seen my other video, I pulled the Super Gogeta, um, the intelligence one, so I want to make sure he gets maxed out, super hyped about that, I really hope that Global gets this maybe next week, 
Uh, if they do, then they'll gonna definitely get some uh, some more summons out of me. <laughs> All right, so let's just go ahead and talk about this real quick now. Um, <clears throat> as I did mention a little bit earlier, uh, this Trunks, the one over here, the Changer of Future Super Saiyan Trunks, uh, he actually Doken Awakens from this Trunks, the Roar of Sadness and Rage Trunks of the Future. He will Doken Awaken from the Fight Against Despair event. You have to get all these medals in order to Doken Awaken him. Um, and that's from the Hope Fight Against Despair arc, or the event that's currently out. He is farmable from level 5, and then all the medals you're going to have to grab are throughout the various levels. Uh, you can go ahead and check the news or the event news for that information, where to find all of them. I'm not doing an in-depth review on this. Maybe I will later on tonight or tomorrow. Uh, but when he Doken Awakens, he Doken Awakens into this Trunks, the Future Changer, as I had mentioned before. And the Future Changer feeds into the Intelligence Rage Trunks and the Physical Trunks. Now, I have the Physical Trunks, but if you, don't, if you do have the Intelligence Trunks, he is the Hero Lead. Um, but key plus one, attack plus 70% hero lead. Um, this is undoken form, obviously. You can feed him into him for a super attack up so you can save Elder Kai. You can also feed him into this physical trunks, and he is a really, really good support unit. So I would recommend doing that if you have the time to do that grind. But that's it, guys. That's just a quick PSA I wanted to go over with you in order for to get you guys knowledgeable about the things that you can currently do in the game, other than the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta event and the Omega Shenron event and the other Goku event. But anyway, thank you. Hit that sub button if you're new, and I'll catch you guys later.